This tutorial will demonstrate the flexibility of PNID by showing how users may extend symbol functions to draw quickly in CADWorks PNID. CADWorks PNID uses two methods to insert objects, the icon method, which is demonstrated by clicking a valve symbol, and then picking from the list to insert the object, or the command method, which is seen when you click an instrument button and you are prompted to immediately place the instrument. The key customization feature we will capitalize on today is that CADWorks PNID allows calling any specific item in the menu symbol file by modifying the user lisp. First, let's add a new symbol. In this case, we're going to select the lines category and add an instrument line. Let's copy the current one and move it up. When we edit it, let's choose the Instrument Line with Database option and change the description to Intelligent Instrument. Click OK. Now we've added our symbol to the menu symbol file. To demonstrate that we need to extend the customization further, click the Electric Line button and place it in the drawing. You'll notice right away that the pneumatic line was drawn instead of an electric line. Let's open the user list to proceed with our customization. It can be found in the installation directory under the support folder. Also in the support folder of the installation directory is the flowalt.dat file, which is the menu symbol file. In the line section of the flowalt.dat, we can see our intelligent instrument line has been added correctly. Out of the line section in the user lisp, there is no intelligent instrument line, so we will need to add one. Let's change the command name to iInstrument, and we'll change the item it's referring to to item 6. Notice we will have to go back through and renumber the items following the Intelligent Instrument line. Now, let's save the user lisp, switch back to CADWorks PNID, and reload the user lisp with the app load command. Now when we insert an electric line, the correct symbol is shown. Also, we can use the I instrument command to draw our intelligent instrument line. Let's take a closer look at the user lisp. The first part of the line we created is the command definition, which tells us what to enter at the command line. In the middle, we have some custom CADWorks commands. And then we have a view slide section, which lists the slide to look up and the line number of the item in the menu symbol file. Let's customize this further to insert a gate valve. Let's use the GVA command for the slide we want to look up. Let's choose the Valve's regular slide. And let's insert the first item on that slide, which will be a gate valve. Let's save the user lisp, reload it in CADWorks using the apload command, and start the GVA command. Immediately our gate valve is placed. We can customize AutoCAD further by creating a new tool palette. Let's save the drawing and add our intelligent instrument line. Right click, choose properties. Change the use flyout option to no 
and at the command line, we'll use the I instrument command. Now we can place our intelligent instrument line from the tool palette. Let's copy it, paste it, rename it to gate valve, change the command that will be issued to GVA, and notice that you can change the image to a gate valve image if you have one on hand. Now we can place the symbol using tool palettes with CADWORKS PNID. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful in showing how you can extend the symbol functions to draw quickly in CADWORKS PNID.